Hey y'all, it's Nancy, the Handy Scandy Artist in Residence for Imagine Crafts. Thanks for joining me on the Imagine Crafts YouTube channel. So today we are going to be doing something a little bit different. We do not have an end product in mind that we're going to make. There's not a finished project that will be shared today or any of that. Today is more about using the products that we have, finding new techniques maybe, but really just playing. So I have my Versafine Claire. I have just a very simple color palette. I have my firework sprays. I have my gel plate, a variety of different embossing folders, a stack of paper, and of course my brayer. So I just wanted to keep my color palette very simple, as I mentioned, and I just wanted to play. I had all these thoughts running through my head. I've been um, kind of without any mojo lately, but I just wanted to play, and I just wanted to see if I could bring that mojo back, see what kind of results I might get, and focusing on wonder, right? I wonder if, and then doing it, like what, what happens if you do that? And, and focusing on exploration, experimentation, discovery, play, and then acceptance. You just accept whatever it is you get and you use it how you will down the road. But during this process, it really is just about play. And all of those other words that I use, the discovery, the exploration, just play, no, no judgment. So I've laid down my VersaFine Claire just direct to the, to the gel plate, as you could see. This particular gel plate is five by seven. I believe it's from Jelly Arts. But I laid down my ink direct to the paper. I should have put the yellow down first because that would not have contaminated the ink pad. But if that happens, you can really just wipe it off on a cloth. It's not that big of a deal. It's just on the surface. But I laid them down and I used the con convex part of the embossing folder, the part that sticks out. And with most, I don't know most, but many embossing folders, wherever the print is, that's going to be the front. If there's words, if there's color, as in, as with this one that I'm using right now from Park Lane, the blue is the front and that's the convex part. That's the part that bulges out. So I used that part and then I did my print. I laid my paper down in it and this process right now is the exact same. Brayer out the color a little bit, make your print with the embossing folder, whichever side you're going to use, and then lay your paper in it gently and use a scratch piece of paper to rub over the whole thing so you're sure that you're making good contact with your paper and then pull and then accept. Ooh and ah, <laughs> love it for what it is, and then just accept it. No judgment. You'll find a use for it down the road, or maybe you won't. Not everything gets used. I understand that. But right now, it's not about judging, and it's not about figuring out how you're going to use it. It's just about playing. And so something to know with the VersaFine Claire inks is that they have a long open time, meaning the ink stays wet for a long time. So you can use it to to heat emboss with. You can use it for lots of different things. But in this case, I don't have to use like an acrylic paint or anything to pull my print. And it stayed wet on the embossing folder so that I could run additional um, pieces of paper through the, um, oh, what is it called? My die cutting machine <laughs> with the embossing folder and get more prints. Now, in some cases, I did spray them, spray the embossing folders and I ran cardstock through a third time and I have some very very pale prints that I don't show each time just to be mindful of of your time but I'll show a couple in the end so you can see them now this time as you can see I jumped on to my firework sprays because I was wondering what if you know how will these work on on this particular type of medium and we're going to see here in just a second now you notice that I tried to brayer it out and it was just very very thin so it didn't have great coverage, so there wasn't um, ink on the whole plate or on the whole embossing folder for the paper to make contact with. So maybe it didn't turn out the way I wanted, but I wouldn't have known if I hadn't tried. So you can see that green down there on the paper that I just turned over. That was from another attempt that I tried with the sprays and I'll show you that one in the end but again it's not that I don't want you to see the things that, that didn't work the way I thought but it's that I want to be mindful of your time so I'll show some of those that others might call fails I'll show some of those in the end again I don't call them fails 
Maybe that's just who I am. Maybe that's my process today. I don't know. But anyway, so you can see that I pulled out some additional colors. This is Warm Breathe. It's a beautiful blue. And again, try and keep that color palette simple. Making my print on the gel plate and then running um, another piece of cardstock through my, um, my embossing machine to pull the rest of that ink off the plate and getting beautiful prints. And so here I'm using the other side of that beautiful Spellbinders embossing folder. You've probably seen that um, out in the crafty community a lot lately. A lot of people are using it in different ways and getting beautiful results every time. I love the way this looks when you put the cardstock through the embossing folder and pull the ink that's, that's left from the print. Love it. Now here I wanted to show what Versa, Versa Magic ink pads might look like and what type of results we might get with these on the gel plate. So same thing, direct to paper with, with that ink and then brayering it out to get that nice ombre and then putting the embossing folder down in. I tried both sides, the convex and the concave, and I run them through the embossing folder or the, the die cutting machine with the embossing folder and a new piece of cardstock and we get prints for each side. I love that gradient. Now, earlier I had mentioned, you know, if your um, ink pad gets contaminated with, with other colors, something that you can do to prevent that altogether is to use the Kaleida Color ink pads, which I don't have out today. I do have a couple of them, but they're one ink pad. It's rectangular, maybe, maybe five inches. And it has, I think, five or six different colors of ink. And it has a little handle that you can use to push the ink pads together so that when you use it, you get a beautiful gradient or you can pull it apart so that the colors don't bleed during storage. I'll have to show you those down the road. But for today, this is how I did it. But that would be a great way not to get that um, contamination of your ink, ink pads. So I'm not showing you everything that I did today just for the sake of time because I played for probably two hours. So, but again, during this process, it's about wonder, asking what if, exploration, experimenting with different things, discovery, acceptance, being non-judgmental, lots of different concepts and themes. But in the end, just play, just, you know, summarize it and simplify it and nutshell it and just play. And so I have my print and then I have my embossing folder and the brayer off page. Keep in mind that those brayer off pages are gorgeous, gorgeous. So now we're back to the beginning. These are the ones that I started with, with that beautiful um, large polka dot folder from Park Lane. And I had an absolute blast. Y'all let me know what you think. Come back next time because we'll be turning some of those um, those pulls into projects. So whether they'll be cards or ATCs or tags, I don't know. I don't know. If you have ideas, drop it downstairs in the, in the comment section. I'd love to hear what some of your ideas are. And if you had favorites, let me know that as well. And if you have something else you might like to see explored, let me know. But I encourage you to try it first. But yeah, I'll definitely try things. Let me know what you'd like to see. So again, comment, like, subscribe. If you're not already subscribed to the Imagine Crafts YouTube channel. And um, I will see you next time again, where we'll be making these backgrounds into some projects. Thanks, guys. Mwah. This is Nancy, the Handy Scandy Artist in Residence for Imagine. And I will see you next time.